It's story time with Kissy. Hi everyone. Today's story is The Very Cranky Bear by Nick Bland. There's a few different characters in this one. Who wants to volunteer? I need someone to read for the zebra. Yeah, I'll have a go of the zebra. Thanks, Snowy. I need someone to read for the moose. Oh yeah, that sounds like me, Gis. I'll read for the moose. Thank you, Tony the Sloth. I need someone to read for the lion. <clears throat> Aslan, perfect. I need someone to read for the sheep. Yeah, I'll read for the sheep, yes. Thank you, Weaver. And last but not least, I need someone to read for the cranky bear, of course. Oh, yeah, I'll read for the cranky bear, yes. Ooh, hang on, Mr. Underpants. It looks like that fella also wants to read for the Cranky Bear. And he really is the Cranky Bear. Oh, come on. I'm way more cranky than he is. Oh, yeah? Well, let's find out who really is the crankiest. Cranky Bear, show us what you've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cranky. Good, good. Mr. Underpants, show us what you got. Oh, oh, I'm so cranky. Grrr, cranky, cranky, cranky. Nah, I don't know, man. That's not really working for me. Anything else? Hey, Aslan, we ought to hit him with the emoji gun. <coughs> that ought to give him a burst of cranky. Yeah, let's do it. I'll help you with the button. Not happy mode, cranky mode. Oh, yeah, so cranky. Ready? Aim. Fire. Oh, oh that's it. What's that? Oh, I don't like it. Oh. We better change it back before it destroys everything. Come on. Neutral mode. Oh, biscuits. The button's falling off. Quick. Yeah, I've got it. Ah. Oh, no, it's stuck on me. What a catastrophe. Ah. Oh, a bucket! I don't like buckets! Let's pick up the button! Oh, it's a slippery little salmon! Oh, stuck on me, my mane! Tissue, please go away! Watch you! Oh, I'm so cranky! I'm really cranky! Oh, oh. Where's it going now? Oh, I'm not there! Bugger! Stuck! Oh, sideways! Just turn the button! Oh, everybody, get out of my way! Oh. Pick up the whole thing! Come on! Oh, I don't believe it! Oh. Close enough! No! Oh. It's still pointing to angry! Oh, no! Oh. Hey, that's it! Come on! Too close! I'm sick of it! Oh, oh. I don't know what came over me. Oh, ho, ho. bravo. That's it. You've got the gig, Mr. Underpants. Perfect. Sorry, Cranky Bear. Maybe next time. Okay. Thanks, Gis. Hmm. I better clean up a bit first, though. There, all done. Thanks for your help, you two. It's the least we could do. Okay, let's get this show on the road. In the jingle jangle jungle, on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep well, sheep was plain. I wonder where their perfect place to play is on this cold and rainy day. Let's find out. It looks like they've gone inside a cave, doesn't it? None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear. 
Roar! Went the cranky bear. Roar! 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 He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So, in the jingle jangle jungle, on a cold and rainy day, four little friends had nowhere warm to play. Wait a minute, said Zebra, as she scratched her furry chin. Maybe if we cheered him up, he'd let us come back in. If I did not have stripes, said Zebra, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. That's what we should do. Stripes are silly, Moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up. Let's give that bear a pair. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a bore. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. So Zebra fetched a tin of mud and Lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches and Sheep, well, Sheep got cold. Poor Sheep standing there out in the rain. Sheep was getting worried. They've been eaten up for sure. And then from in the cave, there came a very cranky... Roar! Zebra, lion and moose ran out and bear was right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he wouldn't find them. Why is he still cranky? He's got antlers, stripes and mane. Before we gave him those, Lion said, he looked so very plain. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared at Sheep. All I really want, he said, is a quiet place to sleep. Oh no, what's Sheep gonna do? So she fetched a pair of clippers and she clipped off half her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full. She tiptoed back inside the cave. Excuse me, bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for underneath your head? Well, thank you very much, said bear, and he soon fell asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. The end. What a fantastic story that was. Say, Kiss, do you reckon we can dress you up like the Cranky Bear? I thought you were the Cranky Bear. Yeah, but it will be more fun to dress you up. Ah, I suppose so. Sweet! There we go, Giss. Perfect. Ah, come on, fellas. I look ridiculous. I think you look wonderful, Giss, with your stripes, antlers, and lovely golden mane. Yeah. <laughs> nah, come on. Take this stuff off me, or I really will get very cranky. Hey, Eva, let's hit him with the emoji gun. <laughs> hey, what's this mode here? Hmm, star emoji. Let's give it a go. Ready, aim. Fire! Ooh! Ooh! Look at me, everyone. Don't I look spectacular? I feel like, like a star. That's right, the very cranky bear by Nick Bland. If you liked that as much as we did and want to read it again, why not see if you can get it at your local bookshop or library? You can look under B for Bland. And if you want to see more story time with Gissy, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to catch up with all the latest videos. 
We'll see you next time on Storytime with Kissy. Ah, 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 oh, oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> by the way, that hurt like crazy, stripping off that masking tape. My advice is don't try that at home. <laughs>